Rhombus geometry problem. This is one of my Algebra 2 students, Marquise, with his special Lincoln haircut. This is problem 29 from the 2009 exit level math tax. This is one of the tougher problems on the test, one from objective 8, that should not have been hard. The percentage of students getting this correct was embarrassingly low, but objective 8 is a statewide weak point. Everyone should have answered correctly. Let's read the problem. A rhombus is shown below. If the height h intersects the base at its midpoint, which of these is closest to the height of the rhombus? Again, with all problems, and particularly geometry problems such as this one, it really pays to take a good look and think before pressing a calculator button. See the segment on top? I outlined it in red, and it's one inch in length, as labeled. We can take that segment and pivot it around that point on the upper left corner, like this. And we can do this by taking the ruler on the formula chart to make sure we're bringing the same distance down from the top, like I've done here. Since the 1 inch line segment rotated down is longer than the height h, that would eliminate answer c and d. Also, geometric logic would eliminate answer c and d as well. Going back to the ruler, what distance does h look like? It looks like about 7 eighths. So based on this, 7 eighths is about 0.875. Let's go to the calculation. If the height intersects the base at the midpoint, this section here at the, in the red is 1 half or 0.5 inches. Since this is a 30-60-90 triangle, we look at the form of the chart again. This distance x is the short side, which is 0.5 inches or 1 half an inch. And this distance opposite the 60 degree angle, x square root of 3, is the height of the rhombus. So in the calculator we put in x square root of 3, which is 0.5 times square root of 3. And that is 0.866, which is closest to answer A, 0.9 inches. This is an easy one. Don't miss an easy one like this. Don't be an embarrassment to yourself, your geometry teacher, your school, your parents, your future wife, future husband, or future children. Be sure to get the easy ones right. This has been a rhombus geometry problem. Thanks for viewing.